What's up, bros? For those of you who don't know, LEGO Video is this new LEGO theme, which I don't know much about. There's only going to be, like, small sets, I think. But the weird thing is, recently, the new LEGO Video minifigure series was revealed on Instagram by Nina Leaks. So, shout out to him. Now, the thing about this is... It's a minifigure series. Like, you would be expecting it to be some minifigures in blind bags. But sadly, that's not the case. For this specific LEGO minifigure series, instead of it being blind bags, it's blind boxes. Now, the stupid thing with this is, you can't feel the bag. Now, the thing with LEGO minifigure series is, is that there's always blind bags, and each blind bag has one minifigure, one small base plate thing, and some accessories for the minifigure. And they always come in these blind bags. If you go in stores, you can, like, touch the bags and feel what minifigure's inside based on the mold of, like, the hair or the helmet or the size and shape of the minifigure. You can tell what's inside the blind bags, Get the one you want, buy it, go home, open it up, and you get a higher chance of getting the minifigure you want by feeling the outside of the bags. And it's just cool. It's better than having zero idea what you're going to get. Unless you're going to buy like a hundred of these, then you can just do whatever you want, buy a hundred. But the thing with these blind boxes is... They don't tell you what's inside the box. There's like 12 minifigures that you can collect, and you don't know which one you're getting. For some people, it's cool. Like, it's like gambling. So one of the big problems with this is it could turn into a gambling addiction. Like, as a kid, you might want to buy a bunch of these because there's this one specific minifigure you want. And maybe as you grow older, maybe you'll have... An obsession for gambling so that's one of the bad problems with this the second problem is you can't get the minifigure you want unless you're like super lucky then you somehow get the minifigure that you want but that's not easy so the second problem which is you can't get the minifigure you want like it's hard to get the minifigure you want because you literally have no idea of knowing what you get because this is a box, the only reason you'll know what you get is after you pay for the item and essentially open the box, then you know what you're going to be getting. Now, each of these blind boxes cost $4.99 US dollars. As we all know, that's not cheap. Like When I grew up, LEGO minifigure series blind bags were like $2.99 each, then it was $3.99 for a long time and then like a year ago i think they became 4.99 like the price just went up so this is honestly really stupid lego minifigure series blind bags used to be really cool now they're still interesting but it's just not as good as they were because right now they're more expensive and with this lego video theme coming out and they this theme having its own minifigure series they're putting these minifigures in boxes and as we all know that's a big problem the biggest fear of mine is the fact that lego might use this idea on the normal minifigure series like i think we're currently on lego series 21 and before i think you could get like 20 minifigures in a series but now each series comes with only 12 minifigures now the biggest fear is like maybe in series 22 the minifigures are going to be also in these blind boxes now that is the biggest fear of mine like what if lego is just gonna entirely be using these blind boxes instead of blind bags so that's a big fear of mine. Now hopefully LEGO doesn't go around and apply this LEGO blind box idea to every future minifigure series. Because that would be a disaster for people that just want one or two specific minifigures from each minifigure series wave. LEGO's just being 
money hungry to be honest lego just wants money at this point like they aren't thinking about the fans and the minifigures in this specific minifigure series wave aren't really that good either like series 21 and 20 are way better lego minifigure series than this lego video blind box theme and I would rather pay $10 and buy the $10 Lego box sets from video that have one minifigure in this weird looking box that honestly looks pretty cool and a bunch of these printed tiles. That would be way better. So I hope you bros enjoyed this video and I just hope that Lego doesn't keep using blind boxes. Tell me in the comments below if you enjoyed this video theme. It seems pretty legit so far, other than the fact that they're producing blind boxes for some of the video sets. So, I hope you bros all have a great day. See ya, bros.